Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm gonna go over how a drag system works in a spinning reel. Well, at least a low-end spinning reel. But if you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. I'd love to have you as a sub, so hit that subscribe button. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna take apart a cheap uh, spinning reel that I have. And we'll get into, uh, I'll show you how this drag system works in case you're curious. I always wondered, so I just had to take it apart, <laughs> figure out what was going on. And you know, this is these are for the low end models, like I said earlier. And I don't really know, like when to, I think these are probably gonna be all the same, you know, up until that like $150 range. And then after that, it probably, the material probably gets different. It might even be a whole new system. But again, these are gonna be for your low end reels. I'm gonna switch camera angles. We're gonna get right into it. This is my cheap ice fishing spinning reel that I don't use. So I'm just taking it apart. I'm gonna take the, I guess you'd call it the drag tension knob, the drag knob, drag dial, drag dial. <laughs> All right, you unscrew it, you pull that spool right off. Here that it's like, I think it's, uh, it's just a shaft, right? And it's, I think it's just locked in. I'm not really sure how the this gear works, but it doesn't spin. That's it sits in one place, and then the spool is going to spin around that. That shaft is round enough on the. I can't. It's not. It's like part of it is uh, straight, and then it's round, right? So it's round enough that the spool can spin around it, right? And that little star you saw on the shaft. That's. That's just for audible. That just clicks on this little thing that makes a noise. That provides the noise you hear uh, when when your drag's initiated or when a fish is like peeling off. And here I'm just getting a fork. You could probably get a knife. You know, so it's not. This is like a paper clip. It's not overly sturdy. It's just the only tool I had handy at this time. You probably might even be able to use your fingernail, depending on you know what you got for fingernails. But it just comes right out. It's not a big deal. It just holds the washers in place. But here you can see there's a metal washer on top. And it's going to be like metal washer, felt washer, uh, metal washer, felt washer, metal washer, felt washer. I think. I think there's three three washers and three felt washers. And there's that. That felt washer is on the bottom of the spool. It's kind of caked on there with a lot of grease because these, but the felt can dry out. But here you can see the sandwich of uh, washers. So it's three washers and uh, three felt washers. Right and here's a washer with so I, I don't know, I call them nubs. I don't know what you call them, but they those nubs actually will sit like in the reel, right? There's a spot for them in the reel. So the reel will catch that washer and that washer will spin. The other washers don't spin. And here, uh, when it gets in focus here, you can see that top washer. The top washer is not gonna spin. The reel doesn't catch it, right? So it just sits there. But that one with the nubs is spinning and that's sandwiched between two pieces of felt. So that's gonna cause friction, right? You just have that, that, uh, that drag dial will clamp down and it just causes pressure uh, and the pressure it's gonna, it's gonna catch right. I mean, even if you didn't have those, that washer with the nub in, it would still slow it down because you're creating pressure and you're bringing it tighter to that shaft. Uh, so it's going to slow it down, but that that washer with the nubs is going to catch it and cause friction and slow it down even more. And that's really it. I mean, that's all there is to it, at least in the low end models. It's probably going to be the same for, you know, I don't know, I would guess probably a $100 spinning reel, $150, maybe after that price, it, the quality would be different. I'm not sure. I'll look into it when I get uh, some higher end spinning reels, but like all the, all the like, Basically all the spinning reels I have under hundred dollars have the same system in it. It's just a little bigger. Again, just to summarize everything, what happens is that you, you put the spool on that shaft, right? And that it's going to spin around that shaft. 
and the tension from the uh, drag dial is going to clamp it down and slow the, uh, it's gonna add pressure and slow down the spool as the fish were to peel off with it so that it can't turn as easily. But with that washer with the nub that sits in between two felt washers is gonna create friction and slow it down even more. That's the video. I hope you liked it. I hope it gave you good perspective. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's how the, the cheap drag systems work. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, uh, it's like fall where I'm at right now. I had a really rough summer. My engine was not working. I fixed it. Uh, it's running now. So I'm hoping from now to like Thanksgiving I can get out there. And I, I hope I didn't miss the bite, man. It's, uh, it's been kind of slow the last two trips. But um, anyways, I'm, I'm kind of psyched here. I want, uh, I want the ice to hit the lakes and uh, so I can get out there in my tent. But anyways, wherever you are, I hope you're catching a big bass and I will see you in the next video.